My name is Otto Zuhr. I'm a periodontist working in Munich. My, let's say, main field of interest, my main field of practice is soft tissue reconstruction, soft tissue reconstruction around teeth and today also, of course, around implants. So usually if I see the patient for the first time, I am already quite well informed. There was already conversation, I was already sending pictures one way and the other from the colleagues, the prosthodontist, the endodontist, the orthodontist, whoever is involved, so if I shake the hand of the patient, I'm already full of information. Most of the time, and this is probably part of my profession, of my specialty, patients are afraid because they heard this, they heard that, and they are a little bit of concerned what I'm going to do with them. And so I think most important is to really explain exactly what the plan is. So I go through the situation, I check intraorally the situation, and I also will try to figure out what the patient's, let's say, treatment goals are, and then I start with the conversation with the patient. So let's say from a periodontist point of view, to be successful in soft tissue reconstruction, I really need the compliance of the patient. And I think to explain patients, to let them know how important their compliance is to be successful at the end, is of major importance. So going through the analysis, is the patient healthy, is the patient a smoker, are there any other medications I might consider, going through all hygiene habits and uh, checking also plaque formation in the mouth, these are absolutely important things for me. So once I have an overview from this perspective, I will more concretely discuss with the patient the technique that I'm going to apply. So um, actually, we can most of the times discuss different treatment options, advantages, disadvantages. In the aesthetic area, most of the time there is no choice, so if the aesthetic outcome plays an important role, most of the times there are not so many alternatives. So I will go with the patient through the treatment process, what it exactly means, most important, what the post-op, uh, let's say, situation is, because the patients need to know how they have to behave, how they have to plan. So many patients actually don't have time, most of our patients don't have time, so they really need to understand what it means to do this procedure and what it means in particular the days after. These are actually um, the things I discussed with the patient and um, patients have questions, they will ask me, they have heard many things, they've been googling things, so a lot of things to clarify and um, I have also learned to take time to listen, not only to explain and talk, the older I get, the older I get in this profession, I have learned that listening is even more important than talking and explaining. Patients do have expectations, often expectations that we cannot fulfill predictably and the patients need to understand that. I think this is the biggest risk that you start into such a procedure having expectations from the patient side that you are not able to fulfill. Expectations can be manifold, so this cannot only be the aesthetic outcome, this also can be pain, this can be mobility, this can be side effects. So I think it's very, very important to listen what the patient's expectations are and at the end give them a realistic picture of what you can fulfill. So coming to our patient example here, uh, my challenge was to completely treat the ginger sessions. To do that, in particular, to do this in general, for me as the periodontist, most important is that I have re-established the reference line. So this actually defines my treatment goal and this is what I always communicate to the prosthodontist, the restorative dentist, this is what I need, that's actually all I need. In our patient example, the prosthodontist prefabricated a long-term temporary, a long-term temporary that really includes this new reference line, meaning the incisal line, which has been
not only accepted by the patients.